Hey everyone, Mario Navarro Jr. here with The Cutting Edge and I have a special guest with me today, my nephew. Tell him what your name is. My name is Melvin Bell Jr. Melvin Bell Jr. and he's going to help me with this episode and today we're going to talk about the youth. Stay tuned. The Cutting Edge Hey guys, Mario Navarro Jr. here with The Cutting Edge, and our mission is to inspire you to study, understand, and apply God's Word into your life. On this channel, we cover practical Bible topics, have powerful testimonies, and seek to answer your questions that you may have about the Bible. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing to this channel for more videos like this. So in the previous video, we looked at biblical tips to help parents but in this video, we're going to look at some Bible tips to help the youth. Somebody once said that growing up is hard to do. I know that growing up in my day was hard. And I believe that it's especially hard for the youth, just like Melvin, growing up in the times that we're living in right now. Children grow up in single parent homes. They face temptations with drugs and alcohol, violence in the school, obesity, peer pressure. The list goes on and on. So Melvin, what do you think the youth need today? It's for parents to love us, mm -hmm. guide us, mm -hmm. and support us, and to get us ready to be responsible adults. Mm, good answer, good answer. Well today, like I said, I have my nephew here, Melvin Bell Jr., and he's gonna help us with the scriptures that we're gonna share with you. Is that all right, Melvin? Mm -hmm. All right. Tip number one for the youth. Youth is a good time to develop a relationship with God. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 1. Don't let the excitement of being young cause you to forget about your Creator. Honor Him in your youth before the evil years come, when you'll no longer enjoy living. It is never too early to develop a relationship with God. There are many distractions that young people have to face, but remember to honor God even as a youth. Tip number two, God is more interested in willingness than in age. 1 Samuel chapter 2 and verse 18. But Samuel ministered before the Lord, even as a child, wearing a linen ephod. Samuel was used by the Lord to minister as a young man. David was a young boy who started early in life having faith in the Lord. Josiah was but eight years old when the Lord used him to be a king. God called Jeremiah to be his prophet when he was but a youth. And Daniel and his friends were teenagers when they were willing to die rather than to be disobedient to God. God is not concerned about the age of the person, but rather the willingness of their heart. Tip number three, what does God expect of children? Colossians chapter three and verse 20. Children, obey your parents in all things for this is well pleasing to the Lord. Obedience pleases God. When youth obey their parents who lead them to live godly lives, it makes God happy. Tip number four, one of God's commandments is for children to honor and respect their parents. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 12. Honor your father and your mother so that you may live longer in the land the Lord your God is giving you. When young people respect their parents, they will listen to their advice. Whether you know it or not, parents were young once too. And the reason why they give you advice is often because they do not want you to make the same mistakes that they made. Number five, how long are children to respect their parents? Proverbs 23 verse 22. Listen to your father who gave you life and do not despite your mother when she is old. Number six, youth can be Christ-like examples. 1 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 12. Do not let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in life, in love, in faith, and in purity. When we think of peer pressure, we often think of it in a negative way. But young people can also use peer pressure in a positive way by being a good example and encouraging other youth to do the same. Number seven, children should learn from their parents. Proverbs chapter one and verse eight. Listen, my son, to your father's instructions 
and do not forsake your mother's teaching. Again, youth should listen to the advice of their parents. Parents have been around the block a couple of times and have a lot of experience. For the most part, parents just want the best for you and are trying to teach you the best way to live. And finally, number eight, young people should be selective in choosing their friends. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 22. Flee also youthful lust, but pursue righteousness, faith, love, peace, with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Young people need to choose their friends wisely. You can get caught up in the wrong crowd and it can lead you to trouble. Try to look for friends that do positive things. Join clubs that will help better you. Join the art club, the music club, the math club. Hang out with people who are doing the right thing. Well, hey guys, that's all we have in this episode. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any prayer requests, put them down in the comment section. If you have any Bible questions, also put them down in the comment section. We'll do our best to try to answer the questions that you have. Thanks for checking out this video. And until next time, The Cutting Edge is hoping to inspire you to study, understand, and apply God's word into your life. Grace and peace.